Right. Yesterday we are done with the array functions, right? All the functions related to array. And today we will discuss about date and time functions. Okay. And when it comes to the date and time functions, what exactly we do here is uh, to retrieve the system date or time or both or to retrieve the specific part of the date or specific part of the time like you know when I say complete date it has got three parameters like one is uh, you know day is one parameter there or month is another parameter year is another parameter these three parameters in the date then when I say date uh, it will retrieve everything but I want to retrieve only the month part or I want to retrieve only uh, year part or I want to retrieve only day part or sometimes what I need is I want to retrieve the uh, day in the week like in the uh, current week what is the day number today or in uh, 365 days in the year then what is the day number today okay and uh, name of the day or name of the month few things like that at the same time to do some manipulations like you know generate the past date or generate the future date or generate uh, uh, you know uh, or retrieve the difference between two dates when I give uh, two dates there now let's say for example I have a customer data but there are certain requirement like this when I uh, activate a customer then customer must be minimum 18 years old then only we can uh, activate it so I need to do such validations then how the calculation will be done customer provides the date of birth then I will take the current date and then the difference between current date and uh, the date of birth provided must be 18 years difference I mean some requirements come like that then I need to find out the difference between this dates and all so all these things can be done by using the by using date and time functions but for some functions I may go little faster because those are straightforward there is no logic there is nothing uh, no logic at all implemented in this those are straightforward values that's it okay then also these functions work with time as well like not to retrieve the specific part of the time and all okay now the first function is on this first function is just here date time is just a variable right now the function name is now function name is now this function is used to retrieve date and time both okay so at a time both will be retrieved this is box just here date time so what I am doing is I am just retrieving the date and time and then I am just passing to a variable then. So then what it is it's current system date and time maybe see sometimes what happens is uh, current date may be different and your system date might be different okay so sometimes we may change the system date and all it retrieves the system date and time not the current date exactly then it retrieves the system date and time both then. now what I need is I don't want both date and time to be retrieved I want only the date to be retrieved I don't want time then what you can do is I mean, I'm just following some naming convention. DT date means DT stands for date. So whenever if you are using any variable and if you are assigning date value for those variable, naming convention should be like this. See, when I assign string value, I'm saying str. When I'm assigning numeric value, int like that. Okay, if you that is called prefix that uh, uh, you know we use. It's not mandatory, but it's a standard so that user can easily understand what kind of value is coming into uh, these variables okay so date then what's happening 
only system date only the date part it is retrieving okay so there is no logic nothing just that it's a straight forward value there is no manipulation there is no precondition or post condition nothing is there whatever the system date is set it will retrieve the system date that's it then now i want to retrieve only the time part okay so you can say dt time equals to dt stands for date time it is current system time next let me close all the existing files okay now we got both the date and time in one as one value or we got date part and we got uh, time part right specifically but now what i need is my requirement is little enhanced let's say i have some set of records okay i want to have some set of records in a table and in that i have uh, columns like this i have uh, maybe you know order id creation date then uprooted some remaining columns what i need is i want to retrieve only the orders which are created on or which are created in uh, april or which are created in may got what i'm saying but it's not displayed like april or may month directly it's retrieved the it displayed the complete date there creation date what should i do here how can i retrieve only the orders which are all the orders have been displayed only the orders which are created in april or may or you know sometime like that in in a specific month then what i have to do is first i need to loop from first order to last order then i will retrieve the creation date for each order then from the date whatever we are retrieving i need to retrieve the month part of it if month equals to 4 then take that particular order separately for everything so what i need to do i need to retrieve the month part here from the date its complete date has been displayed there from that i need to retrieve only the month then what needs to be done here how can i retrieve only the month part okay so in see what i told here creation date is already given i mean user defined date given or current sometimes what i need i want to retrieve the current month also whatever is the month currently then when you say current month it is take the current date and from that you take the month but sometimes in previous one it is system defined date that means sorry it's not a current date it was a past date or it's user defined date user was given that date right then whatever the date it is current date or user defined date whatever date it is but i want to retrieve the month part from it then what needs to be done which function can be used here is month function name is month month function is used to retrieve the um to retrieve the month part of the date then you can say int month equals to month but you cannot directly provide as month that month requires one input it's a mandatory input mandatory input is from which date you want to retrieve the month part is it current system date or is it an user defined date then what i am doing is here month of date i am giving what does it mean 
date starts with current right current system date so take the current system date and from this date retrieve the month it is six it doesn't return the name it returns the number but to return the name again that's coming slowly then now it's not current system date as i told sometimes you know the application is generated some date or user has given some date there based on that it has to retrieve the month so it's not the date always that means it's not the current system date always then what needs to be done here is equals to just given some date here that int month equals to month of date date so you can give your customized date there message box dt int month then what should be the returned value here it should be 5 okay so it's always generally it prefers to mm dd by y by but it's not always mm dd by y by generally what happens is here the first preference go to mm dd format in case if the first parameter is more than 12 that will be considered as day then month will be automatically switched to second parameter whatever given there okay so now if i give like this what it will return now i'll come to that if more than less than 12 as i told by default it will be mmdd so that means first one will be taken as month Second. Uh, uh, no, you have to convert. I will come to that. So, for in case if the second one is a month, then you convert. There is something called C date. There is function is there. Okay, you can convert it to a standard date format, and then we can do that. So that comes slowly. Conversion function it is. So you can see the four. But in case if both are more that one now that's not a valid date then it throws the error so syntax error means you have provided some wrong date and for wrong date you should again add you hash symbol only the dates can be given in as symbol and uh, if it is not a valid date then as symbol will not work so that's the reason it's throwing us syntax error okay now what you need to do is here you can also give the date in within uh, double quote but standard format of giving the date is ash but it's not like that you know you have to use only ash you can also give the date in double quotes within double quote now the error will be a little different not the syntax error this time it says type mismatch the reason because the reason because for the month only the date has to be input that means any date it can be not only system date it can be any date but the one whatever we have given there it's not considered as a date the reason because there is no month provided there right because both are more than 12 if i give like this then it will take it should return as one now what i need is there is a precondition set for this okay. for the month function the precondition is the input whatever we are providing that must be a valid date you got what i'm saying that must be a valid date in case 
if invalid date is provided then instead of throwing an error to me just give me a message saying that you have provided invalid date there and please provide a valid date something like that then the question is here how can i check or how my script can validate whether the input whatever is provided is a valid date or invalid date then in such case what you need to do is there is a function called is date is date as like is array we had now is date this function is used to check whether the input is a valid date or an invalid date this returns true or false in case if the date is valid then it's written true then in case if invalid date is provided then is date returns false then my script goes like this if is date of dt date equals to true if it is true then convert else give me a message box saying that okay invalid date has been provided unable to retrieve the month part now let's see what happens invalid date has been provided then if i provide this this one that means it's a valid date this time right so month is i mean i'm giving all the parameters month has been provided there if i give 115 also still it will return as one but if both are less than 12 it says as four one now which one will be taken four the first part okay that's what the month function is to retrieve the month part but again it is not retrieving the name of the month for month to retrieve the name of the month it's a little different function i'll come to that part again then similarly what i have is i need to retrieve the day part day okay sorry last year month no whatever the day that you provide not only the correct year you can retrieve the year part separately month part separately and uh, that that will wait wait we are getting that we are getting that okay as i told there are some functions for that that's also one of the requirement right find out the difference between the dates okay so now i need to retrieve the day part okay now assume that i have some set of records only current month records will be displayed all the records i want to retrieve all the records which are created on 10th or i want all the records which are created on 12th or i want all the records which are created on 2nd like that okay on specific date so what i have to do whatever the date is retrieved uh, passed there from that date i need to retrieve the day part if i retrieve the day part then if the day part equals to 2 then take that record if the day part is 10 then take that record like that so how can i retrieve the day part of from the date given date is day of date day of date means current system date i am providing then what will be the return value today is a 17th right Similarly, you can also as like month, you can also provide you can also provide the user defined date. And you can say dt date equals to then <coughs> uh, to 
2050. Some data I am providing. Then you can say dt day equals to day of dt date. It will return as 12. So in case if both or more than 12, again it will throw the error. So you need to write the condition. If is date equals is date of so and so date equals to true, then retrieve the day part. Then similarly here, if by default it will consider MMDD, and in case if the first input is more than 15, then the first input is considered as day. If the second input is less than uh, first input is less than 12 and then it will automatically consider as a uh, month okay then this time i want the year part then to retrieve the year part function what we use is year for day it is day for month it is month and for year say year year of date message box dt year what it says can't hear then Similarly, you can also provide user defined data as well. DT year equals to year of DT data. whatever the data that we provide those preconditions are applicable here also it must be a valid date at the same time you know uh, it, it prefers to mmdd yyy but in case if the parameters positions are even that is all the parameters you have given valid parameters if the position of those parameters are changed still that will be fine okay so these are three functions to retrieve the individual uh, values day part or month part or year part but for all these inputs sorry for all these functions input is mandatory either current system date you can provide or user defined date also you can provide okay then now I am able to retrieve the month but how it is retrieving number of the month now what I need is I want to retrieve name of the month, not the number of the month, name of the month. Then write down the function. Function name is month name. This function is used to retrieve the name of the month based on given number. Based on given number. Okay, so this there is an input mandatory for this but this time input should not be date it should be 1 to 12 you must have to provide in between 1 to 12 so based on the number that we provide it retrieves the name uh, which is related to that particular number then but see i can't provide the number directly i said i want current month name but i when i say current month name i don't know the month number i cannot di directly provide 1 2 3 like this because See, assume that today is the I mean, current month is 6 so that I can give month name of 6. So 
so when i am executing the script in this month then it will retrieve the current month name but if same script if i execute because when i write automation scripts it's not just one month or two month i maintain right lifelong i need to maintain so every month i will be executing then if i execute the same script next month then it will retrieve again it will, since we have directly given as six there then it will retrieve six i mean june every time but next month it will be july it returns wrong output right so always it has to retrieve me always it has to retrieve current month name so in this case what you have to do is direct instead of directly getting the name first get the month number month number from the current system right based on the month whatever the month number that you are getting pass that number to the month name so it will retrieve the current month name then how you do that can say int month equals to month of date what it does current month number it returns right then str month name equals to month name of that's it Mrs. box as current month name it is so you must have to provide that in case if you provide a wrong output what i am directly providing the value if i give 12 then what it should return December. I have given the input as 12 there or in case if I give 13 then invalid procedure call or argument argument is nothing but the input for the function so invalid argument it is showing that means invalid input provided so 13 is the invalid input for month name so input must be in between 1 to 12 only you cannot go beyond those numbers beyond the range you can't give okay now you can also give the user defined data as well then dt date equals to whatever the date it is then you can say int month equals to month of date date str month name equals to month name of int month message box str month name if you provide what it should return it should based on the date it should be april it should be april right april so that's what the month name meant for so you can retrieve from current system date or you can retrieve from user defined date or you can directly retrieve by providing the month number directly okay so this is how you can retrieve the name then what I need is next I want to retrieve the name of the day today whatever the day is, it is. but when I say day here day function what it does name number of the day in the month that's why we calculate the day out of 31 days or 30 days whatever it is what is the number of the day today that's what day returns exactly but when you say name of the day out of seven days in the week it has to retrieve name of the day but for this we have a function called a weekday name don't write down before that there is one more function comes then when you say weekday name here there is an input mandatory for this function input is number of the day not in the month 
in the week. So, weekday name input must be in between 1 to 7 and when, when based on the input that is provided, it has to uh, or it will return name of the day. Okay. The question now is, see when I say day, it retrieves maybe a current day in the month, but I don't want in the month. I want to retrieve the day number based on the today's date. What is the day number in this week, current week? Out of seven days in the week, then what is the day number today? Today is the Wednesday. What is the day number today? It will be four. Actually, the week starts from Sunday. Sunday to Saturday is a week. So today day number is four. Then I will pass this four to the weekday name. But the question here, how can I get that four here? It's not the four always. If today it is four, but tomorrow when I execute, it should be five. So that has to automatically retrieve, right? But if I directly pass as 4 today, then tomorrow when I want to execute, then again I need to come to the script and then do the update there. That should not happen. Then what needs to be done here is, so first thing that what we should know, how can I retrieve the day number in the week based on the given date? I will, if I give current system date, it has to retrieve the name of today. Sorry, uh, it has to retrieve number of uh, day, number of the day, okay. current day, right, in the week. Write down the function. Weekday. Function name is weekday. So function name is weekday. So this function is used to retrieve the name of the sorry number of the day in the week. Retrieve the number of the day in the week. If I provide date, weekday of date, based on the current system date, it will calculate the week and it will calculate the day in the week, current day. Then int weekday number equals to it says 4 now what I need is I want the name of the day, right? Function name is weekday name. Write down the other function. Weekday is to retrieve the number of the day in the week based on the given date. Whereas weekday name is used to retrieve the name of the day based on given number. Not based on given date, based on given number. How you get the number? By using weekday function, you get the number. Okay, now what I will do weekday name of is Wednesday then you can also provide user defined date also it's not only the system date then I'll say dt date equals to I just given this date then you can say str Weekday number equals to weekday of dt date. Then str day name equals to weekday name of int weekday number. 
message box as to your day name. It is still Wednesday. So we have given 12 10, right? It was Wednesday. If I give 12 12, then it should be Friday, right? It says Friday. So it will retrieve the day number first and then based on that we are retrieving the name of the day. Then you can also directly provide the number. STR day name equals to weekday name of to message box STR day name. So what will be the output? Monday. So when you say to Monday, if you go beyond seven, if I'm giving eight, it does that invalid input provided. Okay, invalid argument. So input must be in between one to seven only. Then directly we don't provide the number also. Uh, it has to be retrieved automatically based on the date i provide the date only based on that it has to get so first i have to get the number weekday number how we can get by using weekday function based on that we give the we get the weekday name right next Sorry? Days? Hmm. I mean, it will automatically get right based on month and day you have provided. It will automatically calculate what is the day number. Which one? No, you can't do that month number. You must have to get the weekday only. If you provide 21, that will be the error. You can't provide the day in the month for weekday name. If first you you have to provide a complete date based on that complete date weekday will get you the number it will automatically calculate in which week you are into right now or based on the date which week it is and what is the number of the day in that week it will automatically divide it by 52 some weeks or not okay fine so that's how we retrieve the name of the day now what we have got like we we were able we are able to retrieve uh, day part we are able to retrieve month part or we are able to retrieve year part or we are able to retrieve uh, uh, month name or weekday or weekday name so individual parts right then what i need is now there are some other requirements like this out of 365 days then i need to know what is the day number in the year out of 365 days not month wise when I say day, it is month wise, but out of, I don't want to calculate the month. I have 365, based on the day I provide, what is the number of the day in the year, overall year, out of 365. Then, other one is, into which quarter we are into. We are in first quarter or based on the day, then I have to get the quarter number automatically. For year, there are four quarters, right? First, second, third, four, four quarters it is. Then based on the day that I provide, then or based on the date I provide, which quarter it belongs to, first quarter, second quarter, like that. Or I want to retrieve in which week we are into currently, how many weeks per year, 52 weeks per year, right? So out of 52 weeks, then which week we are into currently, okay? First week. But remember, I can't get, we can't get any, uh, we can't get the uh, week in the month. But out of 52 weeks in the year, then what is the week number, current week number? Okay, so like that. So there are few other things like this. But what, you know, happened here is they have not given individual functions for these requirements, whatever I told them. Okay, they have not given. But they have created one common function for all these requirements. In the VB script, you have got one common function. That common function can be used to retrieve the week part. I mean uh, current week or that function can be used to retrieve uh, the day number in the year or quarter number in the year 
also whatever we have seen till now like you know to retrieve the name of the day or oh, sorry not not name of the day or name of the month to retrieve uh, number of the day in the week number of the day in the month that means alternative to year or alternative to day alternative to weekday or alternative to month so you can retrieve the specific part of the date by using that common function then the common function name is write down date part okay common function name is date part so this function is used to this function is used to retrieve retrieve specific part of the retrieve specific part of the date date based on based on given interval code based on given interval code what is meant by this interval code here is like we use a delimiter right it's similar to this based on the input that you provide then so if, if you want to retrieve year part one interval code that we need to so interval is what exactly you need to retrieve that's called as an interval here so when i want to retrieve year part then year is the interval here when you want to retrieve uh, month part month is an interval here so based on the interval that you provide here it has to it will retrieve the specific part but again one more thing here i said not interval interval code it is right so for every interval here has got one code let's say for example when i have the month okay so you cannot directly say it as month there there is an interval code when i say year there you cannot directly provide there is a code set for that okay to understand that code then what you do is if you have vbs edit install just click on help you know how to click on help f1 is a shortcut key to click on help then just double click on the date part whatever is displayed there just come down a little bit these are the interval codes i have this many part you know parts i can retrieve when you want to retrieve the year part what is the code given four wise when i want to retrieve the quarter part q when i want to retrieve month part m and when you want to retrieve day of the year that means out of all 365 days what is the day number y then week day w day d week of the year that means current week w w okay then this date part also can be used to retrieve uh for time also hour part or minute part or second part so there are two inputs first input is interval code okay what you need to retrieve what is transfer ww uh, week of the day say date second input is from which date first is what exactly you want to retrieve second one is date from which date it can be not only just date it can be use a defined date also okay then you can say int we are in 25th week currently based on the date okay so whatever the date it is we are in 25th week in this year it will take only from current year okay so similarly if you provide a uh, 
you can also provide the user defined date there if you provide m what what stands for m here month so that this is equivalent to month of year month of date sorry it will return the month part what is the current month 6 that's what it returns just it will return only the month part equivalent to month of date then if I provide day in the year y then today is 168th day in the year okay so 168th day in the year out of 365 days so like this you can retrieve the specific part so they have given but based on the input that you provide that output will be as per the input so we you have to provide if i want to retrieve quarter then you just give us q there so it will retrieve it should retrieve two six months is second quarter right yeah. okay so this is what date part function main form so it will retrieve the specific part of the date then <clears throat> next is in certain situations what we need is okay mm -hmm. I, i'll give you the require i'll tell you the requirement here take here uh we have seen like uh, the uh, we have discussed about order creation and all right we have two columns one is creation date maybe today's date i can pass directly then i have a required date delivery date required when i say delivery date sometimes it could be future date right sometimes it could be a future date then so what I need is here I need to pass the future date to the application I will say delivery date after four days from current date or after five days from current date when you do it manually then you can directly so by using calculator or by using some you know the tool you can just uh, get the future date and you can directly pass it but when I say to the script then my script should automatically generate the future date got what I'm saying then how I can how can generate the future date here by using script or sometimes not only just future date sometimes past date also now the same purchase order I have validation negative validation I need to do when I pass the negative date I mean uh, past date to the required date uh, field required date should be always it should be future date or current date it can be or it should not be past date when I say I'm creating the order today, I cannot request delivery for yesterday, right? Can't do that. So what I need is here. Sometimes I need to generate the past date. When the ne this is negative validation I'm doing, then I need to pass. If I pass the past date to the request date, sorry, uh, required date, then application should give me an error. That's my validation point. When I'm passing a negative date, sorry, a past date, then application is giving error application is not accepted. So in this case, what I have to do by using script only, I need to generate the past date. And then I need to pass it by using script only, I need to generate the past date. So question is, how can I generate future date or past date? The function is date add function name is date add this function is used to generate the past date or future date or time also okay so you can also add the type now let's say for example here creation time is there so my require uh, there is a validation point like this when i create it now i mean after 
two hours, then it has to be triggered. Or the status has to be automatically changed after two hours. Then what I have to do is, then I will take the creation time, then I will take the current time. If the creation time and current time, the difference between those two times are two hours or more than two hours, then status has to be changed. You got what I am saying here? So sometimes I need to find out the difference between the times also like this. Then how this can be done? I mean to do find out the difference between dates or to find out the difference between times then you can use the function uh, sorry uh, it's wrong then I need to add so time right not the difference here time also now creation time is there then I need to add two hours for current time right so I will generate the alarm say for example the best example is alarm then when I say alarm then when I enter file there then it will automatically give the alarm time don't know it is 1130 something like that then if i add two hours alarm is set for 130 so that's what it has to add in the application then so to do that again you can use date add function so date add can be used to generate the past date or past time or future date or future time then so there are three inputs required for this function all three are mandatory Remember one thing here, only one thing can be added at a time. Say, either you say two days or you can say two months. Like I mean, number can be anything. Two months or three months, four months or 10 days, 15 days, 20 days, 30 days like that. But you cannot say like this, uh, two months, five days or, you know, two months, 10 days. You can't say like this. When you want to add one month, 10 days, then it has to be 41 days. Okay, you can give only one interval can be given here. I cannot give both month and day or I cannot give year, month, day, something like that. When I want to add two hours, then you can say two hours. But if you say one hour, 40 minutes, you want to add, then you can give 100 minutes directly instead of giving one hour, 40 minutes like that. So because only one interval code, it accepts at a time. Got what I'm saying here? Then, so what you can do is here, there are three inputs required for this data add function. All three inputs are mandatory. So all three inputs are mandatory. Those inputs are first one is interval. What exactly you want to add? Then I want to add five days for current date. What is interval code? The same interval codes can be taken here. So interval codes will be common for all these functions. That is the first input. Second input is number. How many days you want in case if it is day. Then. What is the for which date you want to add? Interval. Number. How many you want to add? For which date or for which time. D means date I am adding, right? So it should be date. Or you, you can give user defined date also. No problem. Today is 17 right and then if I, I added 5 or in case if you want to generate the past date <coughs> give minus 5 or minus 2 or minus 1 well, today is 17 then you can see minus 5 return or if you if you give 20 there then today is 17 then this month is 30 30 right then 20 means what it has to be there the next month 7th uh, next month 7th it has to be so it will automatically adjust it to next year sorry next month 7 7 okay so you, you can add any interval here if I say Q here what is mean by Q quarter so that means each quarter is nothing but 3 months right 20 into 3 so 60 months it will add or if you want to add to the time now what you can do is H 
h for hour Twenty hours I am adding. This date add only, right? It is one Four thirty-six p.m. If I add five hours to current system, it is eleven thirty-six now. Four thirty-six. So like this, you can also add the time. You can if you give n n for minutes. M you cannot give m for month actually. So there's a reason for minute they have given us n. So you can use it for month or you can use it for day. Uh, date. And sorry. You can, one by one, you need to add. Not the same. Ah, not only just that. Any, uh, you can't add. You, can, you can't add both day and month. That's what I told. If you say one month or uh, fifteen days, then today is this month thirty, right? Then you can say thirty plus fifteen, forty-five days. Like that, you need to calculate. Wait for a while. Sorry. No, you can't. You can't. Only one interval code. At a time, only one interval code it is. Okay. So now, I want to add as your requirement is. I want to add uh, two years, three months, five days. That's what my requirement is. Then I'll say, what I need to do? It, it has to be like this: 2015, two years, right? 2017, two months. What is the current month today? Uh, six, eight, five days. Seventeen, twenty-two. Right? Twenty-two, uh, eight. Then 2017. If you want to add all, what you do is there is a function called date serial. Don't write down. I'll tell you. The date serial is used to generate the date. That's it. There is nothing. Generate the date based on three three inputs. You need to provide. You have to provide year individually. You have to provide month individually. You have to provide day individually. Based on three these three inputs, then it will generate the date. Then, when you are providing this individual, then you add take the current year plus two, current year plus two, so two years, current month plus two, two months, current day plus two, like that. Then, first input is year, year of day, year of date, plus two, comma. Month of date plus one, two years, one month. Then day of date plus one. So two year, one month, five days. See seven twenty two. Five days twenty two. Two days seventeen. So twenty two it has come. One month. Then. Uh, seventeen. Right. So that's how generally date serial can be used. In case if we have say two years five months, I need to add. We can use this function. But individual things need to be provided there. So. If you want to add two months, uh, two years, two months, or one year, two months, then first you can say year of current date plus one. So it will add one year. 
second input will be month of date plus one one month it will add two months it will add like that okay We'll stop here today because I need to take next class also.